Hi guys, this is Nikki with uh, Posh Dog Knee Braces and today let's go over um, the 12 most frequently used um, methods for injured dogs. So first off, veterinary care. Have your dog seen by a doctor if you're worried about anything, if there's an injury, if your dog is limping, um, even if you're coming to us um, for a knee brace, I'm gonna recommend a diagnosis of some sort. I don't wanna play guessing, I don't wanna treat for a CCL and find out later it's a groin sprain or cancer or something else going on. So it's really important to first step, go see a veterinarian, um, have an exam done. They might recommend x-rays depending on what the injury is. Um, you might need to do some wound care and you know go home with some wound care. Um, they're probably also second going to send you home with some pain management, um, whether it's holistic minded or um, prescription from your doctor, make sure if your dog's injured that you're on some kind of a pain management. Um, a lot of them like to use an NSAID, which is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory maybe short term those are fine but they do delay healing and they can cause some issues with our liver and kidneys so here at posh we try to switch you as quick as we can to something a little more holistic um, such as a supplement rest and restriction some dogs do need to be um, restricted uh, i hate crate rest you know if if they're um, a really active part of your family, but sometimes if they have like a broken leg, um, it, it is necessary to keep them um, quiet and get the healing done. Um, physical therapy, um, such as range of motion and hydrotherapy is great. Cold and heat therapy, um, doing moist heat and cold off and on, depending on the injury, is really beneficial for getting circulation to that injured area. Supportive nutrition, making sure your dog is on a really good quality diet. Hydrotherapy, which is like swimming or water treadmill. Um, usually that's done with a physical therapy technician. Um, those are all good uh, things to do. You might need an orthotic device. If it's an elbow, a wrist, an ankle, or a knee, contact Posh, we're happy to help. Um, elevating the area, if it's like a, a broken leg or something, maybe putting a pillow there and just kind of elevating it. Your dog's probably not gonna wanna move a whole lot anyways if they're in pain. Um, laser treatments, laser's great for inflammation. It helps with pain and it helps to circulate the area as well. Um, might need to take some anti-anxiety measures. If you've got a really high anxiety active dog, they might need something um, calming like, uh, uh, they have a calming um, pheromone spray that you can plug into the wall that helps to calm them down. Um, you might need a medication if your dog is just really anxious. Um, regular follow-ups also lastly make sure that you follow up with your veterinarian especially if your dog has a splint or a cast the worst thing you can do is try to remove things at home like that um, trying to save money you can actually cost yourself twice as much in the long run if you take something off too soon I see that a lot where people try to fiddle with it or they rewrap it at home and we end up with these ulcers on the leg it's horrible so please do follow-ups with your vet if you do have a prescribed device um, if it's an orthotic and you have a question contact us if it's a posh brace that's why we have vet techs that are certified just specifically for that let me know if you have any questions it's posh intake one at gmail.com or our website is poshdogknebrace.com thanks and have a great day Bye bye